Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike. It's Dan. I have Dan on the show today because first of all, um, you're Shanghainese. Yeah, dude, I speak Shanghainese, I eat soup dumplings, it's my job. Well, today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a super simple, super fast, super awesome noodle dish that is Shanghainese. Yep. So I'm gonna have you here because I want you to try it. Use I'm, your Shanghainese taste buds. I'm, I'm gonna be the judge. This dish is called, um, in, in Chinese it's called cong you mian. Yep. or spring onions oil noodles. Scallion oil Scallion, noodles. Yeah. Right. Really simple to make. All you really need is some light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, sugar, some scallions, a lot of scallions actually. Basically basically the main ingredient. Right. And of course you need some oil. I like to use canola oil for okay. this recipe. And of course you need some noodles. You need a lot of scallions. We're gonna use two cups of scallions today. I actually found that you can use whatever noodles you want in this dish, Ooh. but you, Oh yeah, nah. I I feel like um like if you use any kind of noodles, it might taste all right, but it won't taste as good as right. if you use those. Right. I, I agree, but I think if you don't have anything else, I think you can use whatever noodles you want. But these noodles here, the Shanghai noodles, I got at, at my local uh, Chinese supermarket. Yeah. Chinese noodles are able to grab the sauce a lot better. I exactly. do. Exactly. Think and, so. And I do feel like it's because these particular noodles, they have a light coating of flour already mm -hmm. on it. Yep, you're right. Like if you use, say, soba noodles or ramen noodles, it, the sauce might slide off. It, it's, it does slide off. Um, I've used ramen before. It doesn't grab as well as this noodle does. And I really like it because it has a nice spongy texture to it. Exactly. It's chewy. I love right. these. So let's get started. This dish really quick but it's delicious and i'm going to tell you why it's so awesome because if you make it once your second time it's only going to take you like four minutes magic i'm going to tell you why to get started you're going to julie in your scallions and we're going to keep maybe a stock of the greens just so we can garnish the, yeah. pot, the noodles later make it look nice that's right Now it's really simple. Take your wok, you're gonna add half a cup of oil to it, and then what you're gonna do is just turn it on low heat. This is basically the majority of the time what you're gonna be doing is waiting for things to heat up. Right. When the oil heats up, we're gonna put in our julienne scallions. And you gotta make sure one thing, guys, I should have told you this before you cut these, but make sure these are dry. Because oh, when yeah. you put these oh. in oil and they're wet, it's gonna splatter, it's I not mean, gonna feel good when it hits your skin. Yeah, it's also not good for the cooking process because now right. you got water in there, moisture, you want it to be really dry. Right. When the oil heats up, put this in. It's gonna take about 20 minutes for the scallions to completely cook. Now, it's gonna look like it's burnt. Yes, it's gonna look black. Well, not black, but it's, Almost. Gonna, it's gonna look be brown, blackish. Yeah. Don't be afraid of that. You're not burning it. It's actually gonna taste really good. Yeah. Let it get to that point. When you put your scallions into the oil, make sure they're kind of leveled so each scallion is uh, has contact with the oil. And we're just gonna let that cook for about 20 minutes or until it's golden brown or dark. While you're waiting for the oil to cook your scallions, let's uh, maybe we'll chop up our uh, remaining yeah, scallions, I mean, our garnish. Not much else to do while we wait, so. <laughs> this dish is, is crazy. It's so easy. You're chopping it real slow. You're like taking your extra time. I mean, like, we got a lot of time right now. You're making scallion oil, essentially. Exactly. It's one of the staples of all Chinese cuisine. Like literally scallion oil is used, for example, like Shandong dish. Mm -hmm. Everything is cooked in scallion oil, yeah. like beef, sea cucumber. So it's it, it's like so important that you understand how to make this. Yeah, and it's gonna add a lot of aroma to whatever you're eating. And today, this dish really is just noodles. Right. Right. We're not even adding meat in here because right. to me that's weird because I'm not adding meat in here. That's weird for you, man. Like like this is just noodles. This is just noodles, but it tastes really really that good because with the oil, it has so much aroma yeah. to the entire dish. It's not just salty with the no. soy sauce. It's gonna give it a lot of depth. It, and if you want to add meat, yeah. you can. Yeah, you add, could I would suggest add some pork, mm -hmm. but if all you have around the house is noodles and some soy sauce, some oil, and scallions, you can make this It's dish. literally like, I love it, like let's say you come home, you don't have that much that day. Yeah. Get some scallion oil, like leftover, get some noodles, boom, yeah. you got yourself a dish. And if you guys are wondering how much noodles to use, we're gonna use one pound today, but you can use however much you want because you're not putting the entire oil into this these noodles. Right. So you can actually save the oil for later. That's why I'm saying the first time you make it, it's kind of slow, right. but the next time you make it, it just takes the amount of time it takes to boil the noodles. So we're gonna cook a pound of noodles 
and we're just gonna add however much we feel like we can handle. The aroma it releases, like I just love smelling it because you're like, you smell it and you, because I, I sometimes forget yeah. what I'm cooking because I have the timer going, I just right. forget about it, I right. go and play a game or something. And Dude. I smell something, I'm like, yeah. oh, that smells good. And, and you can burn it too, so you wanna be careful. Yeah, just keep an eye on it. About 20 minutes, but check in. Maybe you're using a little too much fire than I'm using, so maybe check in every five minutes just to just to see. That's magical. We need to bottle this up and sell it. If I meet someone that smells like that, they're either my best friend, if they're a guy, if they're a girl, I need to marry that person. Looking at our scallions, it feels a little crispy, it's brown, dark. Some of the thicker stalks, they're gonna be a little light, that's okay. Um, we're gonna take half of this out right now and place it on a piece of uh, paper towel so it can soak up some of the uh, oil. Now, it smells so good. <sighs> Your soy sauce, light and dark. You have three tablespoon light, three tablespoon dark, okay. a tablespoon of sugar. We're gonna add all this into the slowly simmering oil right now. Whoa, okay. Yeah. All right. And that's what's gonna give us a lot of the flavor. All right. After you add the soy sauce and the sugar, let it cook for additional minutes. You're gonna start seeing bubbles across the surface and that's when it's done. When your sky oil is about ready, maybe five minutes away, start boiling some water and we're gonna put our noodles in. These noodles, only takes three minutes. Yeah. That's it, really quick. Our noodles are ready. Make sure you guys run this under some water. Yeah, so um, they don't stick. Yeah, especially Shanghainese noodles, I feel like that. there's a lot of flour on here. Yeah. It's gonna be really gooey. Take your sauce, make sure you guys give it a little mix before you pour it on the noodles because the oils you're gonna see is gonna be floating on the top. So you need a good mixture of oil and the soy sauce on the bottom. So make sure you dig deep and go ahead and just, like I said, this is really salty, all right? So put on a little bit and try the flavor of the noodles and make sure you guys like it. If you need more, add more, but don't add it all at once because your noodles gonna really just taste like a bat of salt. And make sure to get some of that fried scallions on there because that's where a lot of the flavor is gonna be. After we add our sauce, we're gonna go ahead, you guys remember these, uh, the, the, the scallions you took out before? The crispy ones. They're crispy now. Yeah. And we're gonna add that on the top. Dude, I love that because now, that. now you get like two different kinds. You get kind of the one that's soaked up mm -hmm. all the sauce, which is delicious. Yep. And then you get, dude, I was, I don't know if you saw, but I was eating these. You were, you were. They're like scallion chips, bro. Yep, yep, exactly. Scallion chips infused with oil and the aroma, just smelling this. Yo. Oh, how do they, so good. How, how do they not make these as a snack? <laughs> because they're like too oily. They'll, right. they'll kill you. They're literally heart attack in a bag yeah. if you make these into a snack. They're good though, they're addictive. I'm just gonna try one of these right Dude. now. Oh, so good. Oh, it, oh. The scallion flavor bursts in your mm. mouth. Totally. And with the soy sauce, of course, and a little totally. bit of sugar. Well, that one doesn't have the soy sauce or the sugar. It just oil. Oh, it's just the oil. It's nice. It tastes still, still so good right. though. And we're gonna put on the green scallions we left out before and garnish it. And that, my friends, is our scallion noodle dish done. Mix the noodles with the sauce. There's a pound of noodles in here. Usually, you know, you shouldn't put that much in the bowl like this, but... Ooh, look at how pretty... Oh, oh my gosh. All the sauce is on the bottom, so make sure you dig deep. That's a big ball of noodles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's two of us, so so you got to eat a lot. We're gonna we're gonna eat a lot, uh, but usually if you're just by yourself, you uh, maybe half a pound of noodles. <whistles> How nice. pretty you are! Shall we dig in? We shall. Yo, can I just say like, if you just looked at these noodles, mm -hmm. they kind of just look plain. Like they look like lo mein, right? Yeah. But dude, when you bite into them, they'll taste anything but like lo mein. This is 
unsuspectingly good. And it's so simple because you don't expect uh, a noodle just to, right. with some scallions and yeah. some soy sauce to taste like much of anything. That's basically oh, this noodle is so long. Dude. It's like unbreakable. Oh, oh my god. gosh. Just... Yo. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. <sighs> Holy. Oh, look at that. There we go. There we go. It's one really appetite. Good. Mmm. Oh, that's amazing. It's salty. Oh, it's good. It's aromatic. I could eat this all the time. Oh. Your noodles are now transformed. Mm. This is like the Mighty Morphin Power Noodles right here. It has got the umami of the soy yes. sauce. Yes. Got such a brilliant, brilliant sky and flavor. But you, you see how like, the Shanghai knees, knees noodles are really different. From yeah, the, the texture other. is very chewy. It's like hand pulled noodles. Right? Yeah, exactly. Because like you see how the sauce just it sticks really well. It covers the whole yeah. noodle. It sticks really well. So it's like each strand has yep. the has the sauce on it. Oh! When you bite into the scallions, oh my god, the soy sauce oil leaks out, and you're so happy. Just them. Oh my. You found happiness right there in some scallions. This is dangerous because because I could probably eat a handful oh, so of it good. of the scallion soaked mm -hmm. oil, but then you just end up eating like a cup of oil. Oh, you know what's gonna make this better? Hot oil time! I made a fresh batch mm -hmm. of hot oil for this day. Would you like some? No upper. All right. Fresh batch of hot oil. It's extra spicy this time because mm -hmm. I infused it with Thai chili. Mm -hmm. The thing is, the thing is, see, I love hot oil, but mm -hmm. like, I don't know if I can put it on these noodles. Oh, so you're saying the hot oil doesn't belong on these noodles? It's like, it's like, it's not like it doesn't belong. It's, it's, it's not, like, it's not a Shanghainese thing. Yeah, like, no, when I went to Shanghai, there wasn't, this. there wasn't a lot of spicy food. No, you must have hated it. I hated it. You must have been like, dude, can I, can I get some hot oil? I was please? like, I was like, I need a travel pack of hot oil, please. Yup, add the hot oil. Oh, that's good. See, the hot oil tastes great, mm -hmm. but I feel like there's too much going on now. I don't even care. You know what I mean? Too like, much good things. Like, I agree with you, the hot oil tastes great, but it's almost like, all right. Can you have too much fun? Try it with the hot oil. Let me try it both ways, see what you guys like. These will probably be Sight. the simplest noodle recipe you can learn. All you need, noodles, scallions, soy sauce, oil, sugar, you have a delicious meal. The leftover oil we have, bottle it, bottle it, mm -hmm. put it into the fridge. It's gonna be good for a long time. Next time you want some noodles, just boil some noodles, heat up the oil a little bit, put it onto your noodles, that's a meal right there. Hey, what's to say you can't chop up some no, veggies? No, do anything, anything you want, want right? Veggies, if you're a meat, meat mm -hmm. source like me, yeah. pork, beef, put, anything goes good with this. Stir fry some up, put it in here. Well, even if you wanna steam it and just let it kinda marinate a little bit inside the oil itself, it's gonna taste delicious, guys. Mm. Oh, another good thing. You mentioned the egg before. Yeah. There's actually a, a variation I tried before where okay. I, I put a fried egg on top of this. What? Mm -hmm. No way. It's really awesome. No! It's really awesome. So you fried an egg. Yeah, I put it on top. Like like uh, like the fried yeah, egg, sunny side egg. up yeah. or whatever. Yeah, and I put it on top. The egginess is gonna soak into the noodles. Oh. Delicious. So I have all the ingredients for you guys in the description box below. Simple, really simple ingredients. And trust me, make this, you won't regret it. Let me know how much you love this dish. You're welcome. Go so make it and, until I get home. Yeah, now, now you know. Yeah, now I you can home. go make it for your girlfriend. And also guys, wanna let you know, um, Dan and I have a brand new channel, if you don't know already, Double Chen News. So go and check that out. I have that in the description box as well. We make videos every single day, every day. about all sorts of interesting news items. Inspiring stories, inspirational stuff. Funny, funny, crazy, mm -hmm. everything. Definitely check that out. Mm -hmm. And thank you guys so much for watching this channel. I'll see you later.